What's up family? My name is Jimmy Scott Jr. and in this video I'm going to answer the question, what does it mean to take up your cross and follow me? So the phrase to take up your cross and follow me is biblical. It can be found in the Bible in the book of Matthew chapter 16 verse 27 where Jesus is talking to his disciples and he tells them that for any one of you who wants to follow me, you must deny yourself, take up your cross and follow me. And basically what Jesus is saying is in this phrase as he was talking to them, for those that wanted to be his disciples, for the disciples that he had chosen, that if they really wanted to follow him and they really wanted to learn about him and understand him and his ways and where he comes from, uh, for him to be who he says that he is, they must first deny themselves, which means to put away the way that you think, the way that you live your life, pick up your cross, which means to put to death your life and the way that you think about things to adopt his way of thinking about things and then to follow him which is a daily walk of life of walking in righteousness in the way that Jesus has called us to walk. These are the things that Jesus was talking to the disciples about. What does that truly mean and what does that truly look like? Well, what that looks like to take up your cross. To take up your cross means not to ignore what you think and how you feel and who you are. It doesn't mean to ignore that. What it means is, is to deny yourself first and to put God first before yourself. I think a lot of people think um, when it comes to Christianity, when they accept Jesus into their life is that they have to ignore themselves. They have to ignore what they think or how they feel and the way that they've lived their life. They have to ignore it. And God is not ignoring it. God is saying, put me first. There's a difference in that. God cares about how you think. God knows how you think. God knows how you feel. God knows how you live your life. But God is saying, put me first. Deny yourself. Deny yourself as far as going your way and thinking that you have your life all together and in the palm of your hands. He's asking you to place your life in the palm of his hands because his yoke is easy and the burden that he gives you is light versus the burden that we carry ourselves when we think that we can do it all on ourselves is very heavy. There are a lot of things in this world that don't make sense that we carry. And there are a lot of burdens that we carry as far as trying to learn how to live in this evil world, working with evil people under evil politicians and, and corruption uh, all through our government. There's a lot of evil in this world. And so the burden that we carry can be very heavy when we're trying to figure things out on our own. But God says the burden that I will give you is light. And that burden is for us to pick up our cross. The cross means to put to death, literally putting to death, the urges and desires to want to live life on our own terms. Putting that to death and following Jesus, meaning that we will then be submitting ourselves, submitting ourselves, submitting our will, submitting all of the thoughts and actions, emotions of ourselves to God and living the way that God has called us to live in his word daily. That's what it means to take up your cross and follow Jesus. Him is Jesus. Take up your cross, pick up the cross. When criminals were put to death via crucifixion during those times in the Bible, they often had to carry one pole of the cross. God is saying, pick up the entire cross because God wants you to put to death all of the things, not just some things, not giving God a piece of your life and then you keeping a piece of your life or not surrendering certain aspects of your life, such as how you live your life to battle addiction or how you live your life as it revolves around relationships or finances. No, God doesn't just want piece of your life and then you take the rest in your own hand. He wants all of your life. So he's asked you to pick up the entire cross, pick up your cross. Again, your cross also may be different than someone else's cross. 
pick up your own cross of the things that hold you back from surrendering your entire life to Jesus. Pick up that cross and follow me. When you pick up your cross, I'm gonna tell you right now, the same way Jesus did, when he picked up and carried his own cross to Mount Calvary, when he picked up his own cross, that is a one-way journey. There is no coming back when you pick up your cross. And that is why it's so crucial for you to understand and know exactly what, what, what that, that, that verse means when he says to pick up your cross and follow me. There is no going back. Pick up your cross and follow me. Where Jesus is going and where Jesus is going to take you is going to be a, a long road. It's going to be a very tough road and it's going to be a long road. It's going to be a very narrow road. There are not a lot of people that are going down the road uh, with their cross like you will be. There are not a lot of people there. But Jesus is going to be with you every step of the way. Jesus is going to teach you and guide you every step of the way if you truly want to follow Jesus. Some people say they want to follow Jesus. Some people say they want to be called a Christian. Some people say that they live the lifestyle that God has called us to live in his word. Some people say these things, but that's not true. Picking up your cross and denying yourself means being kind when you don't want to be kind. It means being humble when you don't want to be humble and you want to be prideful. It means being meekful when you don't want to be meekful and gentle towards people and you want to be soft at heart and not angry. It means being soft and not being angry. And it means living this way daily. Notice that God didn't say that you had to be perfect while walking and following him. He said, if you want to follow me, if your desire is to follow Jesus, then these are the things that you must do and these are the decisions that you must make in your own heart. Because when you make the decisions, God is going to take care of the rest. But you have to make the decision first to deny yourself and put God first. And when you put God first, his power will then take over and not your own. I appreciate you for tuning in and watching this video. I really hope this bless you. Please feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you can get more videos like these. And please be sure to leave me a comment down in the comment section and let me know your thoughts on the video. I pray nothing but blessings and peace over your life as you continue to walk with me on this Christian journey. I'll talk to you next time.